Jalei Zhang is set to return to the ring for the first time since his knockout of the year contender against Joe Joyce. Joseph Parker vs. Jalei Zhang has been confirmed for the Anthony Joshua vs. Francis Ngannou card on March 8, 2024, in Saudi Arabia. After the Parker fight, there are other options for Zhang. He was initially linked with a fight against Wilder before the Parker fight once Joshua vs. Ngannou was confirmed. According to Michael Benson, Deontay Wilder and Jilei Zhang reportedly could return on the undercard of Anthony Joshua vs. Francis Ngannou, which may in fact take place on Friday, March 8th. It's claimed Wilder and Zhang could fight each other or appear in separate fights. Shelly Finkel Wilder, he was not ruling out the possibility of facing Zhang, but he'd also love to get his boxer a rematch with Parker. Finkel stated, Look, we would love Parker, but that hasn't been discussed. But in either case, if Zhang was presented, that would be a big fight. If that was on the same card as the fight with Joshua and Ngannou, I think Deontay and Zhang would rival that. It would be a phenomenal show for the public again. I think the job that they did putting all the heavyweights together on that card was wonderful. Earlier it was confirmed by Chris Mannix that Wilder could fight Jilei Zhang on the undercard of Joshua vs Ngannou on March 8th. He stated, Few details on the planned Joshua Ngannou card in Saudi, on what is expected to be another massive show in March. Told the working date is currently March 8th, a Friday. Jilei Zhang, the Chinese heavyweight who scored back-to-back -back knockout wins over Joe Joyce last year, is expected to appear on the card. One fight that has been discussed, Zhang Deontay Wilder. Wilder could also appear on the card in another fight. Carl Froch has backed Deontay Wilder to travel to China and defeat Jilei Zhang following the latter's win over Joe Joyce last weekend. I think Deontay Wilder is brave enough and good enough to, to, to take that challenge and go in the ring thinking he's going to win. He's a detonating puncher with, with, you know, when he lands that right hand on anybody's chin, he's going to be confident that he can knock out Zhang. So he'd probably take it, but I'm not so sure Usyk would really, I mean, Usyk would fancy it, but I don't know if he'd entertain it. Tyson Fury, maybe, maybe not. Anthony Joshua, I've already said, I don't think he'd take that fight. That's too dangerous. I don't think Eddie Hearn would risk Anthony Joshua in against Zilei Zhang. Promoter Frank Warren, who works with Zhang, says he thinks this fight would be a great fight. He says he wouldn't have a problem making it. Warren stated, That's a great fight. I wouldn't have a problem making that fight. Let's see what happens, Warren said to Boxing Social. We'll see, we'll see. Zilei with us, Queensberry and he's made a massive impact and at the moment is mandatory for the WBO version of the title, so he'll be wanting to get his mandatory and get his shot at the title. In the meantime, he will fight, and whether that's Deontay or not, we'll see. Zhang's co-manager, Terry Lane, who expressed his fighter's keen interest in facing on the undercard of the highly anticipated Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou bout against Wilder. Boxing journalist Michael Benson wrote on his X handle, Zhile Zhang does indeed want to fight Deontay Wilder on the Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou undercard on March 8th. His co-manager Terry Lane has stated, it's been reported that Zhang and Wilder may both be on the card, potentially even fighting one another. Zhang did call out Joshua and Wilder, Joshua fell through after Zhang accused Eddie Hearn of keeping him away from the Brit since he was one of the names mentioned before Nganu. He stated, I never thought this fight would be made. I think there's one more person, Eddie Hearn, who will not let Anthony Joshua fight me. It's too much of a risk. When I signed with Matchroom a couple of years ago, that was one of the conversations we had. My management team flew to London and sat down with everybody to talk about it. It's been years since that, and this fight never materialized. They know how to successfully avoid this. Despite the looming excitement around a Wilder matchup, Zhang had this to say about his opponent of choice for a potential March showdown. Zhang stated, I want to come back during March and that's the plan, but if you're asking me who I want the next opponent to be realistically, then I say Joseph Parker, but does he dare to fight me? I'm open to everything, but I am focusing on the gym and being in the ring for my return. I would like to have my next fight to be in Saudi Arabia, but everything is being worked on and is in the process. I can't say too much about it. Chinese heavyweight boxer, Jile Zhang is training very-
Joseph Parker on the card, with more fights to feature. Coppingers also reacted on X. Joseph Parker will fight Jilei Zhang in the March 8 co-feature, to Anthony Joshua Francis Nganu in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, sources tell ESPN. Parker coming off a dominant win over Deontay Wilder. Zhang scored back-to-back -back stoppage wins over Joe Joyce last year. Terrific co-main. Parker promoter David Higgins believes Parker has silenced the critics following that upset win over the hard-punching Wilder. He stated, For me, it was the best performance of Joseph's career. The reason I say that is because those massive global pay-per-view fights have a special pressure about them. The eyes of the world are upon you and against his opponent, a murderous puncher, one of the most feared in history. You can't really describe what that pressure is like until you've been in that situation. A couple of times he came up short in his career, but this time he maintained a cool head, was patient, showed intent, stuck to the fight plan, withstood the pressure. He didn't just win, but dominated Wilder. Former heavyweight champion Joseph Parker heading in a gym for the biggest in March. Zhang went on to discuss the hurdles that Wilder may now face in order to get back to the top of the heavyweight division. He stated, When you look at Wilder, he hasn't fought for 14 months, and throughout the whole fight, he was just looking for the big right hand, and he barely found the opportunity to throw that. It doesn't make a lot of sense that he was moving around like that. If you want to land a solid shot, why are you moving around the ring like that? If you count all of the punches, Wilder probably threw less than 100 punches throughout the whole fight. He was being reactive the whole time instead of being proactive. As a boxer, I can tell you that it is easy to fall and it is harder to rise up. Deontay Wilder has been there. He has been at the top. Now I would say that he is in the lower part of his career. It is really hard to get back. You have to overcome a lot of physical and mental problems to be able to come back again after that. Parker did not want to rest on his laurels. He called for showdowns with any of the division's top players, including Zhang and Hergovic. It was Zhang who answered the call for. A fight that will leave the winner in prime position to land a massive fight in the suddenly red-hot heavyweight division. That's a wrap. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on our newest release.